How's it going? This is Josh at ACI. Today we're doing a, a Mark VI balance shaft. Um, the balance shaft actually seized in and it was causing low oil pressure faults. The customer called me up and said, hey, I have this oil pressure light coming on. What should we do? I said, well, you can try changing the sensor, but it ain't going to fix nothing. We need to do an oil pressure test. So cold oil pressure should be about 30 PSI until it warms up and then it'll drop down to 10 PSI-ish, give or take. You know, you want one bar of oil pressure for every thousand RPM you're running. Um, cold this had about seven psi which is not enough if you ran it long enough the coolant will start boiling in the tank and the oil pressure light will come on so on the intake balance shaft which this is hers out of her car this drives the water pump this actually keeps the vibration of the engine down <clears throat> so if you look at the end of the balance shaft here you'll notice that the shaft has come off the spur gear and if you look at the new one it's still on there the reason that happened is we use this special tool that clip clamps around the balance shaft and goes like this and we use a slide hammer to get it out well the normal slide hammer is very light to pressure and pops it off well this one was so tight it required an extra tool and some extra effort to get it out and it was so, so much force it actually pulled the gear off of it so that's a common failure point and what happens is if you see here this is the actual bearings of the balance shaft, and they're actually broken. And if you can look in here and see right in there, that's actually broken. It actually shattered coming out because it put so much force behind it where it seized up. And you've got these oil galleys. You got one here, and you got four. We got three on this one. <clears throat> they control oil to it. And there's bearings inside here. And as it spins, you can see that it spins pretty freely. But when you come off of a little bit, you can kind of see it's a little, it's starting to bind up. And that's where it's getting all that junk in there. So that's the old balance shaft. And you see the back where we tried to hit it and get it out. Sometimes you can drive it from the backside. This didn't work out so well. So on the new balance shaft, you get a new spur gear, which you have to line up and time up. New bolts, new washer, and new through bolts. A one-time use bolt. You cannot, replace, you cannot reuse it. This is your new balance shaft. Nice, shiny, clean. Three oil holes on the back or on the front new gear, no play. And obviously the back's not tore up, nice and shiny. This is a Volkswagen part. Keep in mind, the exhaust balance shaft is very similar to this, but it has a shelf it sits in in the, in the block. And the exhaust balance shaft is a different part number. <clears throat> and you can tell the difference between the two by the part number. But if you have a Mark VI, EOS, Tiguan, GTI, GLI, B6 Passat, 09 and newer, Jetta Wolfsburg, Mark V, 09 and newer, if you have any of those cars with a CCTA or a CBFA engine and you have balance shaft issues, give us a call. We'll give you a price on it. We'll get you hooked up, get you fixed up. Um, if you need chains and you're already having some issues with other things, do balance shafts while you're in there. It's an extra couple hundred bucks, no extra labor. There's a little bit extra labor, but it's really worth the investment to make sure that the balance shafts aren't bad because if these go bad and seize up and break, it cracks the block. And I've seen it happen before. So a block and an engine for these things. Now you're looking a couple thousand dollars. They've gone up a whole lot. Balance shafts, you can find them on sales time for 600 bucks for a set. It's a lot cheaper than buying an engine block or buying a whole engine. So if you've got a Mark VI and it's got balance shaft issues, come see us, we'll take care of you.